Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take an ice cube tray and make these adorable acorns and squirrels for fall. I love how these turned out. Honestly, like even the squirrel would look so cute sitting on a shelf. Like I could just put him up on a little display. But I'm not quite sure what else I'm going to use these for just yet. I will show you at the end of the video some ideas that I've come up with because I'm playing around with my fall tablescape later today. But acorns, squirrels, resin. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So let's jump right in to mixing our resin. So we are going to start by putting on all of our protective gear because that is always the most important. So, dun -dun -dun -dun. go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my respirator, and now I am going to make several projects at once, even though I'm going to be showing you these projects one at a time. And so in order to make the four or five different fall projects I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and mix 900 milliliters of resin and then I'll split it between those projects. I will put on the screen here how many milliliters we use for each individual project on that video. Um, and I am of course using my Total Boat Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. If you want a full in-depth mixing tutorial for resin, I did just release my resin for beginners course. I will link that down below. I go over every single step in detail for all kinds of things, but mixing resin is lesson number one, because if you're going to make anything with resin, kind of an important step. But for today, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to mix 900 milliliters of resin here, and then we will get started with our individual fall projects. I'm so excited. We have so many fun things to make today. So as always, just dun -da -da -dun. one pump. So one pump. I'll be back once this is all mixed up and ready to roll. All right, so we've got all our resin mixed. We've got about, well, it doesn't really matter because we're using different amounts for each project. <laughs> but we've got about half copper and half of the copper flakes. So we are going to go ahead. I've let them sit for a minute. I'm going to use my heat gun to pop all those bubbles. <laughs> At least any bubbles that have come to the surface. Of course, we are using a silicone mold today, so we want to use a heat gun instead of a torch. That way we do not melt our silicone mold. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way so that we can bring our uh, silicone mold in and get started. Pearls and acorns, y'all. Like, I'm so excited. All right, so we are going to make these. I have about 400 of the copper left and about 100 of the rose gold flakes. So I'm not exactly sure how much this will take. We will see. But I'm going to try to make them. Well, you'll see. You'll see. I'm going to try to make them a, a mixture, but I want them to also be easily recognized. So I'm going to start by pouring the little squirrel's faces with the copper. We'll start to level out. That might be too much. We'll see. He is trying to just fill the squirrel since there's that little divot up the body. And 
Honestly, that would be okay. We could do copper squirrels with rose gold flake tails. And to be fair, we do not need to fill this mold as deep as it goes if we don't want to. This is technically for like cakes and cookies. And we're just making little squirrels and acorns. Alright, so now I'm going to do these. A little different. We'll just let that go. ahead and start with the clear. I'm going to start up here. And you can see they will start to blend together. You would have to do really defined layers to keep them 100% apart. Um, that resin course I was telling you about. I'm so, so excited about that. I just, I've been working on it for over a year, y'all, but I do a couple lessons to show y'all how to layer resin and the different effects you get if you pour it at the same time versus if you do um, two hour layers or if you do layers over 24 hours, like how the different techniques react and play together and uh, blend, which I thought was pretty, pretty important to know. But I mean, the entire class isn't just about layering resin. It's really about resin. 10 lessons to teach you how to make whatever the heck you want. And that should be my slogan. All right, I'm really liking this so far. And can we go ahead and pour some at the bottom. Number one lesson with resin. I say this every resin lesson, every resin video, every resin blog post. And don't worry, just because I am selling my super awesome, super cool party people resin for beginners class. That's my second slogan. Doesn't mean I won't still be doing resin free videos and blog posts because your girl has to make stuff. And if I have to make it, got to share it with y'all. So at the very least, the acorns do have to go high up enough to fill in to the top of the acorn hat because I don't want that. That's fun. I'm trying to do them all a little different so we can see how they all play together. All right, before I pour a little more, let's go ahead and take a bubble break. There's a hair in my squirrel. 
There's a hair in my squirrel. I feel so redneck saying that. Although I doubt copper glitter squirrels are really that redneck. I don't know. Comment down below. All right, I think I got it. All right, back to the resin. Do a little bit in the acorns and then I'll fill those in with copper. We're getting pretty good here. Take another quick bubble break. one out just a smidge because he seems a little confused and crooked and now we're just going to go ahead and fill everything in with copper yeah starting with this little squirrel because i think he needs a little more copper This one needed a little. And now the acorns. And if we have enough, we'll keep going with the squirrels. But I really want those acorns to have their little stems. And typically, I do try to just stay within the mold and not completely drizzle resin all over my entire silicone thing but um that's just not going to happen on this one so i just kind of gave up and that's the beauty of silicone is we'll just use some duct tape or frog tape or something at the end after we pop these out and they're cured and we'll just take that resin drizzles off the back all right so we've got about 200 milliliters left. I think I'm going to go ahead and call that good. Let them cure a little bit, and then you can tell I've got a baking tray and a silicone mat here. That way I can just pick this up, bring it inside, cover it, and let it cure for the night. And then we will unmold them tomorrow. See how they look. I'm so excited. All right, see you then. All right, moment of truth. We have to, oh, look, that's matte. So when you're using a baking mold like this one, sometimes you get this fun effect that's like frosting. Oh my gosh. And it's because this mold is not shiny. 
um, see the inside of this bear mold, how shiny that is. That's because it's intended for resin and the resin when it's finished will have that glossy shine like this little mushroom. These are the same resins, but this one was done in a shiny mold and this one is done in a matte mold. So I kind of love this for fall. But if you wanted this to be shiny, all you'd have to do is top coat it with a layer of resin and it would have that shine to it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's do an acorn. These are so thick. I knew they would be. It's a thick mold. Oh, how cute. I like how the resin kind of all pulled to the middle, middle here. That's really cute. You definitely have less of the clear on that one. I mean, we did these all a little different. So let's pop them out and then we'll look at them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. I'm guessing put them on a table for something. I'm kind of wondering if I could hang them for something. I don't know what I'd need squirrels and acorns to hang for. I just think they'd be cute, like over a table hanging from the ceiling. They're kind of three-dimensional. All right, so... Yeah, the ones with the tail where I really kept the resin separate, you can see the clear a lot better. But mostly acorns where they mix together are just kind of mixed together. The backs are a little better, but I think that's because the, the copper is heavier and settles to the front and then the flakes rise. Look at this little guy. He has that effect going on right here on his tail. That's so cute. All right, I'm going to go put these up where you can see them really good, and we'll get you some close-up shots so you can see how they turned out up close and personal. Okay, how cute did these turn out? I really like this squirrel with the clear tail. Oh, he's so pretty. And I love how the metallic hair pulled to the center. Like that is such a fun detail. I think, I don't know. I like that they are thick enough that they can stand. So I might add them to a little shelf for fall. You could easily add these to a sign. Maybe I'll add them to a sign. Something about nuts. Oh, that'd be cute. Do you guys ever watch on YouTube the Squirrel Olympics? where the guy was fighting with the squirrels to stay out of his backyard and now he's just full on like building them obstacle courses and Olympic games. Maybe I need an SVG for the 2022 squirrel games. Either way, I love this project. If I do something with it, I will put the clips at the end here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.